Around 2 p.m. local time Sunday, police pulled over Wright. The police chief says they stopped Dante Wright because he had an expired registration on his license plate. The release footage begins minutes into the stop and shows police walking up to the car and then Wright is seen stepping out of his vehicle. Police then tried to take Wright into custody after discovering he has an outstanding warrant. The video shows Wright begins to resist as cuffs are placed on him and he gets back into the vehicle. As I watch the video and listen to the officer's commands, it is my belief that the officer had the intention to deploy their taser, but instead shot Mr. Wright with a single bullet. This appears to me, from what I viewed and the officer's reaction and distress immediately after, that this was an accidental discharge that resulted in the tragic death of Mr. Wright. The officer is currently on administrative leave. Wright drove several blocks before hitting another vehicle, according to police. Police and medical personnel attempted life-saving measures following the crash, but Wright died at the scene. I heard the police officer come to the window. Wright's mother, Katie, told CNN affiliate Care TV she was on the phone with her son before the shooting. It's unclear to CNN how Katie Wright knew police had hung up the phone. Protests erupted in a suburb outside Minneapolis in the aftermath of the shooting. Hundreds taking to the streets Sunday night, clashing with police. The National Guard was also on the scene. The situation turned violent. Crowds marching toward the police department swarmed police cars and started destroying them. Police moved in to disperse the crowds. The chief of police also said bricks and frozen soda cans were thrown at officers, injuring one who was taken to the hospital. And while one group stayed at the police department, a second group of protesters went to a strip mall where businesses were broken into and looted. We recognize that this couldn't have happened at a worse time. The city of Brooklyn Center is only about 10 miles from where former police officer Derek Chauvin is on trial for the killing of George Floyd. The chief of police says he released the footage to be transparent and became emotional when I asked what was on his heart. I'm the leader of this department. They expect me to lead. Create a safe city. That's what I'm trying to do. So that's that's it. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm emotional. Adrian, for the officer who, who shot Dante Wright, what is their status in the department? Are they still on active duty? The officer who shot Dante Wright is on administrative leave, but members of the community are calling for her to be fired. And they're also asking, they say demanding, the chief of police in Brooklyn Center resign. Wright's aunt spoke in an incredibly compelling interview with our colleague Don Lemon about her nephew, about what happened to him. Her words are nothing short of heartbreaking. Watch this. Everybody's hurt. This is a young man that had life in front of him. He had a son. How, how can I explain that? I can't explain it. My family is hurt. You've seen his mother. And, and, and for one minute, y'all, don't forget that my brother, he's there as well, his father. This is not a broken home. This is not a broken home. They've been together over 23 years. Over 23 years, they've been together. My brother has been there. Please do not disregard his feelings because my brother is in pain. What went through your mind when you heard the police chief say that the officer fired the gun by mistake? She, she intended to use her taser. You don't want to know. You really don't want to know what I felt. Right on you. But I'm going to tell you like this. And then next. You know the difference from a fully loaded pistol versus a stun gun. You know the difference. And if you're a police officer, you should know that I think that camera, I saw she held that gun out in front of her for a little while. She, you mean to tell me she didn't see it? But, but let me ask y'all something. How would y'all feel if y'all got the call that that was your nephew, if that was your son, if that was your brother? How would y'all feel? 
And then to sit here and people are trying to drag my nephew's name through the dirt, it don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. He didn't deserve to die. My nephew was a damn good kid. He loved his family and we loved him. Accident? A accident? No, come on now. Everybody in this world saw that gun. You mean to tell me you thought it was a taser? I've owned over a 20,000 volt taser. They don't feel nothing like a gun. Nothing like a gun. So y'all tell me, how would y'all feel if y'all got that call? That was my nephew. That was my blood. That was like my heart. My brother is my heart. Katie is my heart. They took my man's life from him. My great nephew has to now grow up not even knowing, not even being able to touch his father. You tell me, is it all right to take somebody's life over a, 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 what, a misdemeanor warrant just for some weed? You got these politicians out here smoking weed. They ain't dead. You got all these people that just shot up the man that killed them Asian women. May they rest in soul. May they rest in peace. You got the people at the grocery store. You got the people in Bryan, Texas. You mean to tell me all three of them is still living? But my nephew is dead? Because now they want to use the, the justification of it was a mistake. You don't mistake a stun gun from a gun. You don't mistake that. If I made a mistake like that, I'll be in the jail cell. They'll be trying to put me under it. This not fair. We got several police officers and all in our family. I don't have nothing bad to say about them, but what I got to say is she needs to pay for what she did to my family. My family's blood is on their hands. My brother and my sister is hurting. How do we put life back together after this? Some people say, oh, it's God's plan. That was not God's plan. There's no peace in this. Say his name. Keep saying his name. My nephew did not deserve this. Dante Wright did not deserve this. Katie Wright, Aubrey Wright, they did not deserve this. Joining us now, CNN law enforcement analyst Charles Ramsey and CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Uh, Chief, what do you say to that? I mean, what do you say to, to Naisha Wright, who says, my nephew, Dante Wright, did not deserve this? What do you say to that anguish, to that exhaustion we're hearing from her? There is nothing you can say that will make up for the pain and the loss that she feels right now. Absolutely nothing you can say. Um, I've taken a hard look at the video to see exactly what took place, and she's right. I mean, there is a difference between a handgun and a uh, taser, uh, assuming they're using the model um, uh, taser, uh, not just in the weight and the size of it, but also the, uh, the taser, which is a, a conducted electro electrical device, has a yellow, bright yellow handle um, on it. And when you look at the tape, you'll see one of the officers on their weak side, you see this flash of yellow, that's their taser. Uh, again, another way to distinguish that from the handgun. But there were some tactical errors that were made in this, which I can get into if you would like, but there is absolutely nothing you can say that will lessen the pain that she feels and also that community. Joey Jackson, why on earth was he even taken out of the car, told to get out of the car? I mean, the details that we know now for expired tags, expired tags that the police chief of Brooklyn Center admitted yesterday in the press conference, he and his staff knew there was a two or three month delay in getting those tags from the DMV, even if you'd already bought them because of COVID. Guess what happened to me when I got pulled over for expired tags, right? It, it, it's unbelievable that this aggressive tactic was taken from the beginning for that.
Yeah, it really is. Good morning, Poppy, John, and Chief Ramsey. Listen, I think the answer to your question lies in something we call discretion. And when you're on the street and you're doing your job, it's important that you exercise that discretion in a way that favors life, in a way that values the sanctity of life. We've heard that testimony, right, just last week from the very chief who is in charge of that department, talking about the values of the department and what they should instill, talking about the work and the outreach they need to do to the community. And you look at that, and it total, it's totally counter to that. And I think there has to be some recognition, Poppy, and understanding that at the end of the bullet is a person whose life had meaning, value, and significance. Dante Wright, a son, a brother, a nephew, a friend, so many things to so many. And so, you know, it's part of a whole larger discussion.